My name is Jiayi Yang. I'm a professor, an artist and designer from the University of California, Davis. So we're very excited to be here um, this week at Eco Polytechnique um, in, in Paris, France, where we have brought together our team of uh, artists, designers, um, scientists together and humanists. We are hoping that this uh, opportunity creates uh, a way for otherwise uh, groups of uh, experts who, who don't usually get an opportunity to talk together, to be able to spend a week together and uh, share common inquiries and uh, uh, be able to look at, uh, really as an experiment, to think about the value of uh, working together in this way, in a shared inquiry. I think um, our science as an entity has existed um, for, for decades. I think the two were trying to find each other and to create a discourse within that space. But I think that uh, we are essentially at a different time um, in ways that society uh, has uh, moved into a space where we have complex issues to, to deal with, such as climate change, such as complex social political upheaval, such as um, global migration. So such complex issues for the world, now we're at a point where um, disciplines are interconnected, uh, ways of life are very interconnected. It's a time for experts from different fields to come together and uh, create um, scholarship, artworks, engage with the public in topics that is shared. So I think um, the, my answer to your question is we don't know. We don't know if it will bring solution. We don't know um, if we'll actually, if this experiment is going to be successful. Um, but we do know that through opportunities like this, uh, we can bring experts together. Without this opportunity, then we don't, we don't have them together. So pertaining to climate change, I think that's a very complex question. And uh, I'm not sure any one of us will be able to offer um, a solution, but together we can talk about it. We can look at specific um, inquiries together. And through, through that, um, hopefully our perspectives are widened. I'm going to use an example of a speed of light uh, measurement as an example. Uh, measurements, proxies, they stand in place where we, we can look at them as uh, how does it represent it, the bigger truth. And uh, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But I think we're at a point where we need to better understand how much does it really represent truth and how much of that truth is actually fictional and constructed. So through this, through this dialogue, hopefully we all gain a better understanding and a definition of uh, um, what, what, what's fictional and uh, how, does, how do measurements and proxies actually represent a part of how we understand the world. Thank you.